Every website is required to have a privacy page and terms and condition page, but who's gonna write all this legal mumbo jumbo? In this video, I'm gonna share with you the tool I use to create terms and conditions and privacy pages. what's up and welcome to another week of weapon of choice where I share the tools I use as a designer and freelancer and entrepreneur to create my business and, and this week I want to talk about something which is not very sexy but every website that I design for my client is required to have a privacy page in terms and condition page and you know a lot of times I would ask my clients to send me this text but a lot of times my clients wouldn't have this text and so they needed a solution to and not everybody had a lawyer which could write up all these documents or knew exactly what's going on in their website to properly write the privacy and, and everything. Um, and actually, I was also looking for that, a solution for that uh, for my own website because I didn't want to, and I didn't even know, like I have a lawyer for my business, but he's not a privacy expert. And so he didn't even know how to write these kind of terms for me. Anyway, after a bunch of Google searches and trying out multiple services and solutions, I came up with this one, which is called Terms Feed. Uh, it looks kind of simple. It doesn't look very wowy in terms of designs, but here's how it works. This is super, super simple. Basically, you click on the document that you need, let's say privacy policy, and it basically it gives you um, kind of a uh, wizard, which basically uh, customize the, the legal doc for you. So uh, let's say it's a website, then you type up all the URLs and what kind of business and I won't go through all the steps, but basically by answering the questions in this pretty simple um, kind of step-by-step -step wizard, it customizes the, the privacy or terms and conditions for your business specifically. At the end of it, you can pay like few, I think it was like either some, somewhere between 10 and $40, I don't even remember the price, to actually download this doc and you're gonna use those texts in your website. Um, for me and for a lot of my clients, that solution worked out pretty well, unless there was something very, very custom that my clients need and actually went to a lawyer to do this. For, uh, for me personally and for a lot of my clients, that worked really, really well. So I thought if you're building websites and you have this problem, you might want to check that out. This is not sponsored and I don't even know, um, uh, to be completely true, I don't even know like that this is completely, you know, like tight in terms of legal, does this has everything that you did you need but this is the research that i did because i was looking for this and it looked pretty well and all the reviews were pretty well so i used it for myself um, let me know in the comments below what you think if you find this helpful um, and if you have a better alternative for these kinds of legal docs for your websites see you on the next video